but that is there B, probably B1. Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, I've got one big mama jama of a rock here that I'm gonna try to get out of the ground. Oh, I don't know how to hold this. Here, Kiki, you video the stone picture. There, can they see it? Yeah, there, just like that. like that. Alrighty, I didn't really have much of an intro there at the beginning because I was just Kiki wanted to make a clip of the big rock there, so <laughs> uh, I guess uh, I just am getting back here now. Uh, Grandpa Henry and Grandma came over to see the uh, there you go, Peppy <laughs> came over to see the calves because they haven't seen them yet, so. We're just gonna get going here again on Antoine's uh, peas. So, we're picking rocks. I'm, uh, I'm picking most of the real big ones and what have you. I'm not picking anything too small. Mostly because this is gonna get land rolled. Like a big rolling pin. Most of you, uh, even if you don't see them in real life, have seen my videos from the past, the previous years of the roller. Kind of like the millennial farmer, what he does on his, uh, on his soybean ground. And what's that, what that does is any smaller rocks or dirt clods or anything like that, smooths it right out, makes it nice and perfectly smooth for, uh, when you come in here and swath or straight combine, you gotta be right, right on the ground with your uh, headers and you don't pick up too much foreign debris 
and uh, put it through your combine and cause damage, etc., etc. So, anyway, I'm gonna keep picking rocks and then I'll probably go spraying again. So, we'll talk to here in a bit. Well, we're at Grandpa's here now. I'm just treating another load of uh, barley seed to bring out to Antoine. He's gonna need some more here in a bit. So I'm gonna bring this out and then I'm gonna go spring. It's what the plan is at the moment. So I guess I'll get this loaded up. We'll talk to you in a few. supervisors out here so we better not fuck up <laughs> anyway that grandpa's here Antoine's uh, about what the hell is he at 83 acres he said we can sell about 120 on a fill but figured while I'm here and not in the sprayer quite yet and he was right here we'll get her filled and then it'll be good for the rest that way kind of the plan. Grandpa Henry drove his old Ford three ton with the seed out here for us, so. Uh, yeah. Get her loaded up here and we'll uh, talk to you when we're rolling again. What do you figure? <laughs> so me and the boss here just got back with a load of barley seed. So we're going to be a little bit short, so I went and picked up a, another 30 bushels of the old Ford 3 ton. And now, it's way too windy out to spray, so we're just bringing the water truck back home, and then we're going to come back and get the sprayer sign put it away, because it's supposed to freeze real hard the next few days, and snow and everything else, so... Gonna put these inside the quan set so they don't freeze too hard and should be good. That's kind of the plan. Alrighty. It's a couple of hours later and we are down here on Antoine's pea ground with the 4640 and the land roller and Kigi. Amanda and Sophia are in the 4440 with the uh, stone picker picking rocks ahead of me and Antoine is still seeding and you can see some pretty shitty clouds coming towards us so we're gonna try and get uh, I try and get as much rolling done tonight as I can she should get the stone picking done, I think, before it's dark, so that's uh, sort of kind of the plan. I still have the loader on because I didn't have time to take it off, but uh, Dad hooked this up to the roller for me while I was busy re-winterizing the sprayer for the minus six weather that's coming up for the next few days again. So he uh, just took the bucket off and that actually shaved, I bet you, 2,000 pounds off. Just taking the bucket and grapple off the front of it, so. Anyway, I'm gonna let my little light bar here map out the job, and then I'll set my AB line. And me and Keegan are gonna keep, uh, just keep on keeping on here. starting to spit here now, but I want to go till I see dirt starting to stick on the roller. It's good yet. I mean, it hasn't rained at all. It's just a little bit of spitting, but it won't take much. And I can tell looking over there, it's not really showing up in the camera, but it's on its way, eh, Kiki? Bloody rain, eh? Oh, well. Anyway... I get a couple shots of Amanda picking rocks for you, but she's driving away on us now. <laughs> but I guess we'll keep on rolling.
getting back to buy the uh, the truck here and we'll shut her down but I'll show you what happens. I don't know if you can see it very well or not there. See how there's dirt stuck all over those drums there? You don't want that because you're not doing a smooth job then your uh, things are sticking to it and you're still making a ripply ruffled mess behind you. It's not too bad yet but uh, some spots it's really sticking so I'm just gonna finish the headland which is just around this corner here and then uh, I guess we'll be shutting her down for the night unfortunately but Antoine's still seeding and that's the important one to be going so it uh, hasn't rained where he is yet so that's one plus anyways, but I guess right here is where we're going to shut her down, so. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> Well, this is just fucked! <laughs> Jeepers. Go check the calves, I guess. There. Got this old girl percolating again. pump has issues on it. You gotta let her rev up before you let it idle down or it'll just conk out and you can't get it to start again. There. It's uh, it's not making pressure, enough pressure. Once it warms up it's fine but when it's cold it just won't work. So uh, well you remember when we built it this injection pumps from a different tractor and this motors from a different tractor. Everything's different, kind of pieced together, so. Anyway, this winter, I'll send it away and get the injection pump redone on it. See how slow it is to rev up? Oh well. So, you remember a couple episodes back now, Amanda found herself a hammer mill on the old Facebook there. So I went and picked her up, $1,600, they wanted $1,900, it's a 120 gale. Um, it's in awesome, awesome shape actually, it hasn't hardly done any work. It's got a bale feeder on it, which we don't need, that's going to come off of there. Uh, you could load hay or straw or whatever you wanted into it, small square bales, and chew it up, mix it into your grain, but yeah, it's not really a ne 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 <laughs> uh, not really a necessity on here. Uh, it'll be just more or less in the way of everything, so that's going to get unbolted, I think. And, uh, yeah, I just want to grease it. This tire's junk. This tire is good but went flat, so I think it needs a tube. So Rob's gonna come do that. And I wanna make a spout on the end up there and grease it and oil up the chains. And then this end of the PTO here, we've got a spare one from, uh, Dad used to have one of these way back in the day. So uh, I'm gonna go get that off of it. Well, we'd kept all that from them when they went to the wreckers, so. Plus I've got a bunch of spare screens and it came with a new piece of flating too, but anyway, I'm going to uh <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the shop and go through it, but that's probably where I'm gonna leave you because I gotta edit this video all up and get it ready to upload, so I just thought I'd show you this and I needed an ending, so you can see most of the snow is gone here now, but anyway. I guess. Thank you much for watching.
man, that's a nice looking old tractor. <laughs> Leave a like, subscribe for more, comment. We'll talk to you in the next one.